Hey, Nathan here helping you become a better jungler. I have a submission, a review request from a Platinum 1 Karzix over on the Latin America South server. I opened up requests to all my viewers um, in an announcement video yesterday. I really wanted to start diving in deeper and by like, answering specific questions you guys had. So that's over on my website at nathanmott.gg if you want to request a review. Um, so he he's playing Karzix this game. He goes nine, four, and six, which is a pretty good score. Um, You'll think he does lose, um, but we'll obviously like get into like why that happened. Um, I'll read this out quickly. Why do you want? Why did he want me to review this specifically? He says I'm not an English native speaker. That's fine. The thing is that we had more kills, big gold advantage, and we still lost. I know our top really sucked, but the ADC sucked too. I don't know why we lost and what could I have done better. To be honest, I think overall I played well. Maybe you can help me find what I could have done better. And then I asked any specific moments, and he talks about he wanted to know whether he should have ganked top more or um, camp mid and bot, which I think he does. It looks like he does this game. So, so let's jump into it here. Keep that like in the back of our minds. So it looks like Blitz goes for an invade here, but we're not five man, so it's a little bit risky, but. That's okay, we'll see what happens. Okay, so it looks like they catch center, which is pretty good for you guys. Okay, two are here. I should have just backed off from here, but it looks like you might actually get Blitz hook. Okay, so you should definitely pay attention. Like, there's a lot of flashes that have been burnt. Rengar's burn his flash, Lucian's burn his flash. So this is really, really good for you. You're 1 and 0, you have 340 gold already. You're in already a driver's seat, absolute driver's seat. Rengar's going to be really far behind here, so now walk like from base like all the way to his buffs. So this is awesome for you. So we start red. So also quick analysis of the matchups. So we have a Yorick into a Cho'Gath. You would ideally just want this to be going like even's fine. Yorick is like a split push out of control king. Like you definitely can follow up CC, but definitely I'll say this is a lane that's gankable yet in the early stages, but maybe you want to be avoiding Yorick like past six because Yorick is very good at 1v2 um, situations. We got a Nico into Vlad here, definitely very good. You can follow up from her Q and a Blitz Yas, which is awesome and um, a lot of follow up CC here. You know, we got Blitz Crank and into Lucian Center, and so they are um, definitely very vulnerable lane. So, I mean, based on already, like, the lane, like, it was actually the right idea to be focusing mid and bot, so, again, we'll, we'll go into that. As the game progresses. So we're clearing golems here. I like this good standard clear, getting lots of experience in gold, being efficient. Okay, so you see Vlad low here. This is fine, this is a good gank. At minimum, you should burn his flash here. Ah, oh, she misses her Q. Nice, you still get the kill. He doesn't flash, but that's really good for you. So now you're going into top side. I'll be checking his Raptors. All right, so this is when you instantly know that Rengar is now bot side. He um, got Raptors. Let's see actually where he is. Yep, he's down bot side on his blue. This is where you want to be danger pinging your bot, like they're pushed up. So just try and help out your team with some pings and um, hit the scry and orb here and check golems. All right, so if you hit that scry and orb, golems are up, I believe. Um, what you want to be doing here is going to take golems again. You know Rengar's bot. That's three golems. Come here, clear your scuttle, clear um, all topside here, and then straight back to focus in bot. Like, you shouldn't really care at all what is happening top at this stage. Um... Like he's just like solo killed Cho'Gath. Like there's there's not just just leave top at this stage. You can get a lot of experience and got to really press your lead here. So you do take Scuttle, and you're going for a regain. So I think this is really. So you burn his flash. It's more important to be clearing your jungle right now than that. You already you already put pressure. You already killed Vlad. Like you're two zero. Like cl clear your entire camps. You'll have like 2k gold, base, get a lot of items, head straight bot, start snowballing that, putting that into your win condition. 
so yeah, it's good here that you're just leaving Nico. So Rengar is like pretty scary early game. Like you can't fight a Rengar as Kha'Zix pre-6, so I don't think this is going to work out for you. Um, again, you just need to be clearing your camps. Like you already have a lead. There's no point risking your lead right here trying to 1v1. Like Vlad's still there. Yorick's like pushed in. Like this is so risky. You don't have flash. And it looks like he actually ends up just solo killing you. So that's just never going to work. And what what what's really bad about this is now your jungle path's incredibly awkward. You did see Rengar back off, which is good. But now you have to like sort of go topside. But your golems are spawning soon. Again, you want to be focusing bot side. So this makes it really awkward for your jungle path in now. I mean, dying's bad, but what's even worse now is your jungle path is completely basically ruined. Because you're forced to go topside. Alright, so mid's still doing really well. So Rengar shows top here. Alright, this guy's dead. Back off. Clear camps. Let's go bot side. Like, bots are top side lost cause at this stage. You need to be really efficient with your time. So it looks like you're trying to check if Rengar's going to check through here to assassinate him. Which I think is okay, but like again, look, bot scuttle's still up. Like there's a lot of, again, your whole idea is you need to be going level 6 as fast as possible. Kha'Zix is so weak pre-6. You're already ahead of, well actually you're not ahead of Rengar now, but you were ahead of Rengar. Like you've just sort of, sort of just wasting your time and just like throwing your, your, early, your early game lead. Uh, so there's no point fighting Yorick here, you're level 4 to a level 6 Yorick, and he has Conqueror, you shouldn't win this, again just back off to your camps, okay so it looks like you just get the kill here, again I don't like this at all, huge reason here is, like you just ricks, I think that, I don't, well Yorick didn't base so that's I think why, but why you won one for one, but I just wouldn't be going for that at all. Like the worst thing about this now, like sure you got the kill, but now Rengar's going to know see you topside. He wasn't, he, he obviously wasn't here because Golems wasn't up. So now you're just giving him the opportunity to take Dragon, like pressure bot, which you should be helping as much as possible, and taking all your jungle. And then let's say he does do that, you're just like awkwardly going to walk back here to get your red, and like he could have warded as well. Rengar could have chucked a ward. And then you're just tracked for the next like five minutes or so, so. Yeah, this is definitely really bad for you showing top there and going for Yorick. Again, it was really risky. Right, so yeah, so Rengar does take Dragon. He's your top side. They kill Bot. Still level five. I like the pink ward. Alright, cool. Rengar checks you. That's pretty good. That's a mistake on his part. Shouldn't have done that, but um, yeah, take it. Take it, I guess. It's a kill. Alright, so there's nothing more you can do here. Look at the wave. You need to be really efficient, fast with your time, and deciding this. Look at the wave here. Like, center's up. Like, you've just like used your E. You can't kill these guys. You don't have flash. Oh, actually, you do have flash. You have flash and ult. Maybe you could, but again, I wouldn't risk it. Wouldn't risk it at all. Your golems are up. Your jungle's up. Let's head topside clear. Then let's go base bot, and then let's go back down. Again, they have no summoners, so... So there's just nothing you can do here. If they're, if they're not committing to a wave, they can just escape incredibly easily. Clear your jungle. Be efficient. Oh, so looks like we're so this is good. You're punishing. Looks like you want to punish their summoner spells. The wave's in a pretty bad position. Uh, they're gonna have to rely on Blitzcrank getting a hook here. Okay, he does. All right, cool lane gank. Bit risky, but Blitzcrank pulls through. So um, now that you're bot side for a long time, now you need to concede your top side jungle because Rengar would most likely be there. Yes, he's top side. And here we go. 
clearing his... I like this. You're trading sides of the map. It's fine. gold so you haven't had a pink ward for a while i'm not sure if you've been able to buy pink wards in base but you have you have 2000 gold right now so i'll be looking to just clear up clear up here base spend all your gold come back bot and like help them start breaking bot tower maybe get like another potential kill or or a gank all right so yeah this is pretty bad for your bot there Rengar's doing a lot of impact sort of with these ganks. I mean, you're 5-1 right now. You're still really strong. So you've evolved Q as well. Could you go for Rift here? Probably not. Yorick looks like he might base. Yeah, no, I wouldn't go for Rift here. Rengar's going topside. Oh, you really need to hit the scry knob, check his golems. Alright, this is really... I'm not sure what you're doing here, so you, you're we're just wasting a lot of time here. Like, your golem's up, you need to be helping bot. I think the idea here is you want to help... You want to assassinate Rengar, but, um, like, it's really risky. Like, look at top, and mid's, like, pushed in. Like, they can... Even if you get... Um, if you kill Rengar here, but if you have to burn all your ults, like you don't have R evolve, you um you're definitely in risk of potentially dying. Okay, so they must actually know you're here. I don't know how they know you're here. You must have walked through that pink or something. Okay, but again, this is really bad for you. You were five and one. There was just no need for you to make that risk. Like dragons coming up, your golems are up. Come control bot river, help bot lane. All right, so we're going for the red here. Bots pushed in. Rengar's coming bot. Looks like he's trying to maybe check you. Alright, this is should be okay. Yeah, you do a lot of damage with Q Evolve. Wow. Alright, so you just slaughter him. Dragon's definitely an opportunity here. Looks like the committing bot. Go bot first. Blood TPs. Be able to get him as well. Great. All right. So push this in, and then I would be doing dragon. Okay. So, all right. So the problem with this, like, you looks like you might get this tower, but um, you need to think of it because you're going to be on the map. Like, it's going to take you a while to get this tower. They're all going to be back on the map at full health. Have bought all their items. So doing dragon suddenly becomes incredibly hard. Like I feel like you have to choose between this tower or dragon in this situation. Instead, what you could have done is pushed in that wave. Well, let's see how this plays out first. All right, so now they're committing to you. So obviously they're probably like all bot side. Okay, yeah, so this is really bad. So this is what was gonna happen. So um, you do dragon. You go do your golems, you go do your um, raptors, you go do wolves, you go um, golems, check here. Um, if you have a pink ward, chuck a pink ward there just in case Rift, uh, Rengar tries to rift, potentially get Rift Scuttler. Base, then come all the way bot, like, and then help bot get topped, like, bot tower. Then, in that situation, you get both. Instead of having to choose in this situation between potentially dying and um, tower and dragon, you can get both, like it will take you a little bit longer, but again, like bots are already like winning, like pretty hard. So you can get that tower anyway. Like if you just clear it up, be really efficient, like you'll be a, like level, approaching level 11 by then, you would have gotten dragon, cloud dragons, like it's still good. The dragon's a dragon, a tiny advantage is good, even if it's just movement speed. Um, and then that would have really helped you like absolutely snowball as well. 
So we're showing mid here. All right, so now that bot's broken, the next objective is Rift Herald and um, Top Tower. But your base, Yas is bot, which Cho'Gath should be bot right now. Um, yeah, I think Rengar's doing Rift. Yorick's got this pushed in, so it's going to be hard to... All right, so he does take Rift. Oh, you're definitely doing quick work of Rengar, which is good. It did get the rift though, so that's so you can't really try and get mid tower there. He commits to the tower. All right, let's clear your camps. There's nothing really you want to do. All right, so now what you want to be doing is um, push like this guy should push this up and telling your team like. You can have Nico still say mid, she needs to wait for their mid. Like, you guys, like, Lucian's bot, like, get this tower. Clear your camps, wait for Cho'Gath to push it up. This is the next objective of this game. And what you want to be doing, and Kazusk is the king of this, is sitting in, like, side lanes, being, like, an assassin. Like, literally just sitting there waiting for Rengar to come to try and protect this and just killing people over and over again whilst your team sort of just is just getting objectives. All right, so they just killed two as well. This is really good. Lucian's still sitting bot. Right, so it's fine to reset this and then you can still, again, top is where you just got mid tower as well. Like top is the next objective. You need to be telling your entire team, like, let's go top. I'm going to be top, working my way top. All right, so so just Kha'Zix in these situations is just not good at all. Like Kha'Zix, think of Kha'Zix near mid lane equals like bad. You want Kha'Zix in side lane equals good. So we'll see what happens here. Right, I'm not sure why you're eating into um, four people. Like this is just really throwing your lead again. I mean, you were eight and two before then, so you're definitely still in the huge driver's seat. Like you should have been like here helping Kazix. Here, I mean, helping Yas. Like get secure this tower. Like yes, they just killed Nico, and they're probably going to rift mid. But there's nothing you can do about this. Like you just have to let them get this with rift. Like Nico died. Go top side, take Scuttle, take his golems, and then if they try to commit to this tower for inhibitor, then you base, but Nico should be back alive and it should scare him off. Like they can't really get an inhibitor at like 17 minutes. So you sort of just made the situation like a lot worse for yourself. And now you guys can't defend it because it's three versus five. Alright, so you do kill Lucian. And the game's still not over at this point. Like, you've made a lot of mistakes, but, like, it's still definitely winnable. With Baron coming up. Alright, so you kill Rengar. They're all, like, basing now. Now I would be going to check his jungle. Again, top is still the objective, so I would be going into top side, check his jungle here, plant a pink ward. You still don't have pinks. I'm not sure. I haven't been looking at your bases, but I feel like that... I just haven't seen any pink wards out from you. You definitely need to be buying those off, like, every single base you can afford them. All right, so this is really bad fight. Like, you have no ults. The wave's in, like, a bad position. Yas isn't here. Like, this is essentially a three versus four because you're just not strong in these situations at all. When it's really obvious, again, like running down mid. Like, there's no side lane flanks. They've all got tower safety. You can't go behind their back line and kill them. So I'll be backing off this reset. Get some pink wards. Like, help Yas get top. Oh, so I like this. You're acting like an assassin here. This is okay. Get dragon, which is good. Nice hook by Blitz. That's awesome. Blitz is actually doing pretty well this game. It's 3 3 11. Great. Dragon. No one died. What we want to be doing now is we want to be like, all right, so the, the, the thing that sort of sucks here is they've broken mid in here. So getting control of River here is a bit difficult. 
and you don't really have your team doesn't really have the best wave clear. So your your ideal goal is to be like slowly working your vision like into Baron and push him mid as as like killing the super creeps or like as a team to try and get our vision control of Baron. Alright, so your team really needs to be helping Nico clear those waves. Like, you, you just have to concede River at this stage and help um, Nico push these, these waves in. Like, you're just not going to be able to control this. You've got, like, the Scuttle Crab. Like, it's, you know, that's great. Like, they're not going to just do Baron with, on Scuttle Crab. So, they've got the mid push. Which I guess splitting bot, which is good. Alright, so Yas gets caught. This is pretty bad for you guys. This might just be Baron. Looks like it is. Almost a catch. Alright, so now you're sort of like in a siege situation. Again, like you don't really want to be standing here. You're pretty useless here. You're going to be threatening from the sides. Um, but there's, yeah, if you get into these siege situations, it's just when Karzix is really weak. Like this is just not what Karzix wants to be in. So it looks like there's brute force in down mid, which is definitely what they can do. Let's Blitz get us a good hook. Oh, nice. Alright, so Blitz gets the hook. Looks like they're potentially overstaying here. Flood's dead, Lucian's dead. Alright, so it looks like they're continuing to overstay. They just definitely can't end here. They don't have an ADC. Fire drag, that's pretty good. Alright, I think you're in base a little bit too long here. Chogath gets caught. Alright, so this looks like the game's just over here, pretty much. They still have... Oh, they don't have Baron. But yeah, the game basically ends here. Alright, so... Definitely a lot in here. Like, I think the biggest thing here is that you took too many risks when you had your lead. Like, you didn't... I mean, you did pretty well, like, continuing to get kills and, like, you were getting strong, but you just weren't... It's the really small things. Like, clearing your camps, like, on spawn. Like, I mean, big things are, you know, taking risks, like dying. Like, dying when you're ahead, when there's no need to. Like, all your deaths here were absolutely preventable. Like, one time you just jumped into four people. So... I mean, like, they made so many mistakes this game. You had so many opportunities to get back versus if you were versing, like, a, you know, like, a much better jungler, he would have just absolutely just capitalized on you sort of making these mistakes. So, um, definitely, like, winnable. Like, if we go back to here, like you said, um, yeah, big goal advantage, we still lost. I know our top sucked. I mean, it shouldn't, it shouldn't matter. Like, you know, bot lane should have been your focus. I mean, you even said it here, like, more, gank top lane, like, no, you should have not touched top lane at all and you can't be mid and bot was fine but you didn't really camp you didn't really gank them much like you did like a lane gank or two you ganked mid once but you didn't really like help those lanes much at all like you're too focused on assassinating rengar so um i hope that this review helps let me know in the comments below what you learned from this review or if you had any questions or wanted me to explain anything further um Kha'Zix seems like a really popular jungler jungle champion i've done a lot of Kha'Zix reviews now so i'm getting really used to sort of seeing Kazakh's players um, strengths and weaknesses. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this this review, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.